Hi, welcome. This is just a bit of a video in seeing the integration of Band Labs and Google Classroom. Um, this has been something that I've been developing over the last year or so. Um, I've been using it for the last oh, few months now. Um, and I'll just show you what I've been able to work out so far. So let's jump over into Band Labs. So here we go. We've got our Band Labs in our class and you need to set up an assignment. Um, and then join it up to Google Classroom, which is one of the platforms that's good at keeping track of student work. So, um, first thing is we've got create a class. Oh, we've got a class created. Um, one of the things to take notice of is adding a student. I'll say this now, and you'll need this code. So keep this in mind, you'll need this code a little bit later on. Okay, and I'll change that at the end of this video. So, create a class. You've got a few ways you can do it. You can create templates. Templates are really useful. So if you've got multiple classes and you don't want to have to remake um, the assignment again and again um, from scratch, you can create it in your personal area, um, the task, and then you can go in here and select it um, and use it for each class that you might have again and again, or you might have a new semester of a group um, and you can reuse those things again. So I'm going to start from scratch doing a new, new assignment. So here we go, new assignment, let's call it Band Lab First Song. There we go. Uh, let's give it a date. Let's make it Monday next week. Uh, you can select a time. Let's give it a description. So your task to create your first song, you need to include at least four instrument tracks. Uh, one of the tracks needs to be a drum track. Uh, this then needs to be saved and submitted when you're finished. So you've got two options here. You can save it as a draft. You might want to think about it, do some adjustments, or publish the assignment. Um, you can also add attachments and do things. I won't go into that now. You can also um, assign groups with these tasks. So you can select, have a whole class and group them up, and they can all work on it in pairs or in small groups on the same task. I'll leave that as another video another day. So, let's publish it. Okay, so this is now published. Um, students will be listed down here in your class. And then over here, we've got the description. Okay, so let's go back to the classroom. And this is where you'll see all your separate assignments listed. Now, so we've created our assignment. Students can access if they're in Band Labs. What we want to do is to link them up to Google Classroom so they can access it. So the way we can do that is click on the button down here and we want to share it. So let's share it to Google. You select your account. Then you choose your class. Then you select the action. So I'm creating an assignment. Click go. So here we go. We've got the heading, we've got the description, and we've got the link back to Band Lab. So that's been all generated from the task. Um, you've got your classroom, which I've already selected. I'm going to have all the students, or you can select a, a group of students if you're differentiating the task. You can select a points value for it. Let's put the due date. Uh, let's make it Monday the 18th. Um, and then let's put it in a topic. So within Google Classroom, you can have different topics. So I'm going to have all my Band Labs stuff in the same category. And then up here, I can choose to schedule it. So I might be um, scheduling all my work a week in advance, but I don't want the students to see it, so I can schedule it to automatically um, become available. I can save it as a draft, think about it, edit it again the following day before I want to actually assign it. So let's assign this now. Okay, so that's been posted to the class. Let's view it. Okay, so here we go. That's been posted. We've got our classwork. 
is another way we can look at. So you might have all your postings here and it's not here anymore and you want to be able to go back and track it. Over here you can see all your categories and I've got my band labels category that I've created before and we've got the task sitting here and the due dates visible. So we've got that description that we had before. Okay. Uh, you can monitor who's handed in, how many people have been assigned to the task. So this will um, start to have some numbers of students if I had people in this class. Um, now to join students up so they can see this post in your Google Classroom. Um, but you want to be able to join them straight up to that task or it might be um, the first time you've ever joined them up to um, BandLabs. So you've created the BandLabs class, you've created a task for them to do in the Google Classroom and you've linked it up so you need to get the kids to actually join up to uh, band labs for the first time. Um, make sure that they're obviously in Google Classroom so they're using their education account I'm assuming. Um, then when they click on this link they'll see this logon screen if it's the first time they've ever gone to band labs. Um, and then down the bottom here, you've got all the different ways you can join. I found the easiest way for students to join up with their proper name um, and a decent email account that you can you know it's going to information is going to get to them. They're not going to use an old um, a personal email or anything. Um, the left hand icon uh, will be a G account or Google account. The Facebook icon is the next one along. If they select that one, if you instruct them to select that one, it will come up with this log on screen. Okay, and then all they've got to do is click the right account, the Google account, and then they'll be prompted to um, go straight into the classroom. They'll end up not at this screen if it's the first time. If it is, if they have been into Band Labs before, they'll come into it straight to the task. Um, but if it was in the process of creating an account, they'll see something similar to this screen. Um, but to join a class. So they just click on the join button and that's when it, you'll have this code available for them. So they can click click in this code and then they'll see um, this class and then they'll be able to come in here and see this task. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Feel free to message me if you want me to go over this sort of stuff again. Um, I'm very used to using Zoom and those sorts of platforms to be able to communicate with people. So um, if there's anything else, please let me know. Hopefully that's been helpful and you can see the integration uh, with Google Classroom is really, really worthwhile. And yeah, comment below if needed. Thanks.